So the next one is uniform speed. This uniform speed is related to uniform motion. Yes. Uniform motion means, let us take a body, which is at a position A. If this body is moving in a straight path, so it has reached a destination point called D where A is initial position, D is final position. It is cross over the two positions B and C in the path. So as we know that A to B is 100 meters, B to C is again 100 meters and C to D is 100 meters. Total distance is 300 meters. But if you see the interval range means if I want to find out the speed of the body, means how much speed the body has from A to B and B to C and as well as C to D. Let us suppose this 100 meters distance from A to B, the body has covered in 10 seconds. Again from B to C, same scale, 10 seconds. C to D also same scale, 10 seconds. Means, if you want to find out the speed of the body between A to B, or B to C or C to D. If you take any time, any interval or any interval positions, speed, distance by time. Distance is 100 meters, time is 10 seconds. So anyway, we will get 10 meters per second. A to B, it has covered with 10 meters per second speed. B to C, it has covered with the same speed. C to D also it has covered with the same speed. If you see the total journey from A to D, it is 300 meters by 30 seconds. Again, you will get the 10 meters per second for total journey. So with this explanation, what we can understand is between any intervals or any positions, if the body is covering the same distance with same time, so this body is said to be executing the uniform motion. The physical or the correct definition for this uniform motion is if a body is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time, then it is said to be executing uniform motion. In uniform motion, whether a body is executing a uniform motion, its speed or velocity is constant. This constant speed, in other words, it is called as uniform speed. So if a body is covering the equal distances in equal intervals of time, then it is said to be executing uniform motion. Between A to B and B to C and C to D, at each and every point, let us take B and C, if you find the speed, the speed at a given particular time or at a given particular time interval is called instantaneous speed. So instantaneous speed is defined as the speed of the body at a given particular time means uh, right now we will say in usually so instantaneous speed let us take it is a 10 seconds time to cover the 100 meters at 9th second or at 90th meter point what is the speed of the body that is said to be instantaneous speed what about the average speed average speed means a total distance by total time if the instantaneous speed and average speed is same for a body then we can say the body is executing uniform motion so the average speed means total distance by total time. Total distance covered 
or divided by total time taken. Let us say the total distance covered is capital X. Total time taken is capital T. So the average speed means S bar or V bar. Means it is a mean speed. So we are not at all calculating the internal disturbances from initial position to final position. Whatever may be the disturbances in the middle, we are just calculating the time at the starting point and time at the destination point. That's why this average speed value may change. Suppose if a bus has started from one point and has reached to another point, in the middle for 15 minutes to half an hour, the bus was stopped to many other reasons. Let us suppose if this was happened, we are including or we are adding this 15 meters to its journey. We are not at all removing this 15 minutes uh, time in the total time taken we are adding also means uh, for an observer who is waiting for the bus or waiting for this train at the destination point for him it is late only so like that it is crossed over the time so that that's why average speed value may change so this is average speed what about the instantaneous speed instantaneous speed means the speed of the body at a given particular time so we can write this one as delta x by delta t means if a body is traveling from point to point we will take a particular position in the middle while the body is crossing that position at that time what is the speed of the body that is said to be instantaneous instantaneous current means right now what is the velocity it may vary to the average velocity it may change with the average velocity or it may change with the uh, total velocity also so that is the instantaneous velocity so these all things are explained this is the theoretical wise but graphs are very very important to understand this concept now we will see some of the graphs to understand this uniform and non-uniform motions if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus